doing this video is about drop shipping this is about out of stock what to do if you have an out of stock or worse uh, if you have an item that's uh, overpriced where you're gonna lose money or break even and you, and you, and you want to get out of the sale so you didn't know here we go like and subscribe to the channel leave a comment okay so I have a uh, I have software that I use in case you watch my other videos, DSM tools, what I use, but it wasn't always so. When I first started, my first 25 items or so were uh, not being tracked by anything. And I kind of lost track of them. I never put them in, you know, uh, for tracking. So I got a couple of orders and, uh, you know, they were old. They were like from maybe three or four, four months ago. So the prices would change so that I would weren't going to make any money. I was actually going to lose like $13 on it. So I'm going to show you what, what to do. If, if it's either too much, you're not going to make money or the same thing works if it's out of stock. Okay. So, uh, so you get an email, you get an email. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> Sean Tyson, subscribe to my channel. First shout out, Sean Tyson, first official shout out on you didn't know. Congratulations. Thanks for subscribing. Okay. So you get a thing from eBay, right? I sold this thing for 75. Too bad it's 79. I I was going to pull it up on, on Walmart and show you, but, uh, you know, if I do that, but basically what I did, I, I pulled it up on Walmart, which was, uh, my supplier and, it was seventy nine ninety nine. So I, you know, I didn't need to do the math, but you know, the math is is here. So I would have lost thirteen fifty two to fulfill the sale. Okay, so I'm not going to fulfill the sale. So this is what I'm going to do. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to contact the buyer. I don't know if you saw there was there was a little a little tab there to contact the buyer. Okay, contact the buyer. Sorry to inform you, but your item was damaged. Right, so your item was damaged. Uh, I will see as for a replacement but cannot mm, that's probably spelled wrong guarantee Oh, man, not even close. That's hilarious. Well, unfortunately, not a great speller. Guarantee. Cannot. Quote a new price. So I will refund. I spelled quote wrong too. How embarrassing. I will fund you right away. Okay. That's all. And you send it. Right. Then you're going to eBay into manage orders. It's this order here where it says print shipping label. There's a little drop down menu. You can drop down and you're going to cancel order. You're going to select reason. Reason is always, always buyer asked to cancel order or something was wrong with the buyer's shipping address. I'm going to put buyer's shipping address.
continue. Uh, just select refund and they're going to refund the buyer. There's no need to log into PayPal. Uh, PayPal. So that's all you need to do. So they get their refund. They're not going to be happy about it, you know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and list this item and uh, at the higher price. And if they want it that bad, they're going to pay the higher price. So, you know, that's in a nutshell. That's what you do. So if you learned anything, like the video, so subscribe to the channel. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you do when you get an out of stock or when something's not uh a good price where you're going to make any money. We don't want to lose money. Okay. We want to make money. I'm making a little bit of money. This isn't my bread and butter. You know, I, I got a lot of, a lot of things going. This is just one, one stream of income that comes in, you know, between affiliate marketing and everything else that goes on. And, uh, like and subscribe, watch the rest of my videos. Okay. Have a good one.